Once upon a time, every single day, you, the fearless explorer, set foot in our time machine to journey through the epochs of history. So, welcome back, dear adventurers, to your favorite show, History Replay, this day. Stay in sync with our adventures, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications on our next exciting journey. Our chronicles take us through countless ages, weaving tales of triumph, invention, struggle, discovery, and so much more. And trust me, this is a treasure you wouldn't want to overlook. For our new friends, History Replay, this day is your magical key to unlock the past, and we're just a click away from becoming your go-to history storytellers. Onward to the adventure. Today, our time capsule whisks us back to July 19, 1848. A time when the United States, our stage for the day, hosted the first women's rights convention in the town of Seneca Falls, New York. This meeting was a spark that ignited a powerful revolution, transforming not only the new world but the whole globe. Allow me to paint the picture for you. The year is 1848. Women's roles are confined mostly to the four walls of a house. A band of brave women, led by the valiant Elizabeth Cady Stanton and the fierce Lucretia Mott, decide it's time for a change. Let's step into the heart of our story, as we enter the Wesleyan Chapel in Seneca Falls on that historic summer day. You could feel the air charged with anticipation, filled with whispers of radical change. Here, a courageous band of over 300 women and men gathered, their hearts ablaze with a common goal, gender equality. Among the notable attendees were the indomitable Elizabeth Cady Stanton and the inspiring Lucretia Mott. As Stanton read aloud the Declaration of Sentiments, a document inspired by the U.S. Declaration of Independence, but with a twist. It stated, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men and women are created equal. The chapel echoed with resounding applause. The attendees pledged to fight for their rights, marking the beginning of a significant chapter in history. The climax. The adoption of the Declaration demanded equality and legal rights for women, including the right to vote, a right unheard of at the time. But to fully comprehend this tale, we need to zoom out and examine the bigger picture. The United States of 1848 was like a cauldron on the verge of boiling over. Now, let's zoom out and examine the ripple effect this convention sent out. The mid-19th century United States was a society simmering on the brink of change. The abolitionist movement was in full swing, and the spirit of reform was in the air. The Women's Rights Convention in Seneca Falls did more than just make waves, it caused a seismic shift. In the decades that followed, the convention's influence led to an unprecedented surge of other conventions, protests, and tireless activism. The fight was long, the road was hard, and the resistance was relentless, but the tide was unstoppable. The waves kept crashing against the fortress of inequality until they finally broke through in 1920 with the passage of the 19th Amendment, granting women the long-awaited right to vote. So, why should our tale from over a century ago matter to us today? Well, dear listeners, the Seneca Falls Convention was the dawn of a revolution that is still in progress. As we return to our present day, it's essential to look at the continuing impact of that groundbreaking convention. The struggle for gender equality is far from over, and battles are still being fought on various fronts worldwide. However, the milestones reached since the convention are remarkable. Women have broken through the glass ceiling in politics, business, and many fields that were once male-dominated. The right to education, to own property, to work and to vote are now realities for women in many parts of the world. The courage of the women at Seneca Falls ignited a beacon of hope that continues to guide the path towards a world where every woman can live free from discrimination and enjoy her rights to the fullest. But, what's an epic without its surprising twists? Did you know that the Seneca Falls Convention was not solely focused on women's rights? The Assembly also heatedly debated the contentious issue of abolition. And who was there? None other than the great Frederick Douglass, who swung the pendulum in favor of women's suffrage included in the Declaration of Sentiments. To shed further light on our tale, we've enlisted the expertise of Dr. Jane Simmons, 
a sage of the women's rights movement. As we rekindle the spirit of Seneca Falls, let the magic of animation and reenactments transport you back to the heart of our story. Imagine a flurry of animated sketches painting the scene of Wesleyan Chapel, the hushed whispers, the rustle of crinoline skirts, the fervor in the air. Visualize Elizabeth Cady Stanton standing strong, her voice clear and steady as she reads the audacious declaration of sentiments to the crowd. Feel the tension in the room, the sudden silence that follows her speech, and the ensuing burst of applause. Now picture the ripples of change spreading across the country, women gathering in secret, whispering words of rebellion, of protests erupting in towns and cities, of women marching to the polls for the first time in 1920, their faces glowing with triumph. Fast forward to the present day, and imagine an inspiring montage of women scaling the heights of success in all fields, challenging and changing the world. This is not just a story we're telling, it's a journey through time we're experiencing together. It's the triumph of hope and the resilience of the human spirit we're celebrating. So come along, let the magic of animation and the power of storytelling transport you to another era, making history come alive like never before. So, we've reached the end of today's chronicle. We journeyed back to a pivotal event that triggered the fight for women's rights in the United States, a battle that echoes in the corridors of the world even today. Always remember, the echoes of history are not trapped in the past, they reverberate in our present and resonate into our future. Keep learning, keep exploring, and keep replaying history. And as always, if you've enjoyed our tale, please show your appreciation by liking this video and sharing it with your fellow history enthusiasts. Every like, share, and comment truly helps us tell more enchanting stories. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join us in our daily journey into yesteryears. Until our next adventure, stay curious, keep questioning, and remember, history is always in replay.